Hi there, and welcome back to uh, CNC Modeler. As you can see, there's a bit of progress we made this week. Um, so uh, we'll have a quick look at how the machining went and then come back and uh, talk about what we've got here. See you in a while. So if you do like the video, please do uh, hit subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps other people find me. If you uh, like the videos, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to get notifications when things um, turn up, hit that bell. Uh, so what have we got here? Well, I'm basically going to go through and make up a, a bracket for the uh, platter support. Uh, very similar process to last time around. So I'll look at um, basically some... Uh, 100 mil by uh, 200 mil, uh, 10 mil steel plate. Drill some holes in the tops, tap them, and then uh, secure some uh, plates to hit uh, to tie onto the uh, platter arm. As you can see, lots of tapping and generally trying to figure things out. Uh, so the uh, the pieces that go across to the uh, the platter support arm. They're a bit shorter, and uh, I'm basically just drilling holes through. Uh, spent a bit of time just to deburr the the uh, bands or cuts for the uh, um, tube that I bought, and uh, basically there, yeah, just uh, go through. I think uh, here I'm just um, going through and drilling the holes for the um, uh, to tie the top, upper and lower plates onto. That, uh, that support arm. Uh, basically go through and now just uh, drill the platter support arm so I can uh, bolt those through and uh, just uh, basically now just popping on the u-bolts uh, to secure that back to the, um, the uh, spine of the printer. Uh, so uh, yeah, if we get all that through and get it all deburred and all transferred across to the second piece and um, yeah, just going to try and bolt up those end plates and try to figure out how to get it all to come together, make sure it all ties up nice and square. Uh, so uh, yeah, get the old uh, end plates on there, get the bolts in and uh, away we go. A little bit of tappy tappy. And then just uh, yeah, another uh, trial fit of getting that piece on. So now we're moving on to uh, making the supports for the rails. Uh, so similar process here. Um, this time around, I'm drilling the U-bolt supports first. And then I realised that, um, to be honest, I wanted to be able to have the uh, the rail supports past the end of the tube just to make the most of the rail so ended up drawing drilling some extra holes in the middle of uh, the plates to take the u-bolts then went through and tapped the holes for um, securing the rail supports onto the the uh, back plates um, went through the whole process of uh, tapping those holes and then realized the i'd tapped the wrong size holes for the bolts i wanted to use i'd done it for m5 instead of m6 and then i got fed up with it so i just drilled them out and then uh, i went through i got some transfer punches and uh, used them to transfer the markings over to uh, the second plate um but uh, uh basically the ones i bought were uh, useless because they were too soft and they just bluntened on this this um just mild steel plate so as you can see i'm going through and just uh, bolting those uh, rail supports on and uh, there we go that's the first uh, first of the rail supports on and the same process to bolt the second one on you can see the um, rail supports are above the top of the tube there and that's just to make the most of the rail supports um, and we've basically just gone through and bolted these up now this is all sort of laid up a bit uh, crudely uh, there's not uh, set up properly in terms of geometry at all and uh, so I just wanted to try and gauge how this all fits together and how it should work. So to, I wanted to make a, a plate just to mount the linear bearings on just so I could see um, see it work, basically get a bit of confidence. And I'm going to use that MDF plate to um, mock up how I'm going to secure uh, you know, the ground end of the radius axis, axis as well. So as you can see, it's all a bit of a lash up, but it's all bolted on. Um, and as you can see, there's a fair few bolts there. There you go. Um, fair bit of drilling, tapping, 
halting, um, drilling out taps, and generally um, swearing a bit, I must admit. Um, so what have we got here? Well, we've got this, um, this uh, platter mounting bracket, um, which um, hopefully the deck won't give way. But I'm not sure you can do that with many 3D printers. So she's fairly sturdy, but then it is 10 mil and steel plate and 3 mil box section. So, yep. And then you've got the Z axis, um, which is moving, but you might be able to hear that there's making a bit of a noise. Um, so that's because these rails and everything are just temporarily in. I've not gone through and carefully aligned it all to make this run a lot smoother. Um, so it's basically just a trial fit to make sure things come together and basically that it's somewhere in the ballpark. So I need to do quite a lot of settling to get this running better. And I also need to um, start now thinking about the next difficult thing, which is putting, uh, putting the triangular plate on here um, and fixing that down with the ball joint and the second plate that's like the swash and then mounting some bearings so I can get a platter on here. And then once I've got that, I need to um, uh, think about the radius axis. Um, so this is just a piece of MDF one at the moment just to help me with prototyping, figure out what I'm gonna do exactly before I start machining more expensive bits of uh, aluminium, which I think is what I'm gonna put here just to try and keep the weight down a little bit. Uh, so there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed what you did, what you saw. If you do enjoy that sort of, this sort of stuff, please do like the videos. Please do subscribe to my channel. Remember, hit that notification bell if you want to know when my videos are popping up. And um, yeah, hopefully see you again next time. So thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Yeah, this thing. Not just heavy anymore. I can't even pick it up anymore. <laughs> so, as I said, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you've been enjoying these things. If you do enjoy it, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, perhaps have a look at my website and uh, if you want to see some more videos check out the ones that are popping up now thanks very much cheers